So this dresser was listed on Facebook Marketplace for free, but I needed help loading it in my car. So I actually paid $30 for some help to get it in there, but it was totally worth it. The wood grain on this I knew would be stunning, but it truly was in rough shape. There were just some missing veneer areas and the top really needed refinished. All of the finish was coming off, but it had dovetail drawers. So I started off by using my carbide scraper to remove the finish. This is a great tool to use to remove finish fast so that you don't have to go through so much sandpaper, which can really add up in both cost and waste. You just apply even pressure and pull back. It's as simple as that. It won't gouge your surface if you apply that even pressure. Pressure. I promise it's a question I get every time I show a video of it. I used this carbide scraper over the entire dresser. That included the top, the sides, the drawer fronts, anywhere except the curved corners that it has there. Carbide scrapers are great on flat surfaces and you can use them on curved surfaces, but you risk more of a chance of gouging your surface. So I choose to just use my electric sander with either a foam pad or my surf prep sander that is great on curved or detailed sections. Once I did a pass with a carbide scraper, I grabbed my orbital sander with 220 grit sandpaper and sanded the rest of the finish off all of the surfaces, including the drawer fronts. This also cut down my sanding time because there wasn't much of a finish left to sand off. Which which is such a big win in my book. After sanding, I noticed a dark water ring on the surface, so I grabbed Barkeeper's Friends and mixed it with some water to create a paste. This is actually too runny for what I should have done. I should have added more Barkeeper's Friends, but this still worked. It's kind of a foolproof stuff. I just applied it to the water ring, let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes before cleaning off the paste. You might have to do like two to three rounds of this, but it works. There was not any ring of that black ring that you saw there left over once I cleaned it off. From there, I had to glue up a loose piece of veneer and I just clamped it while it dried. I should have actually used like a damp cloth to wipe off that excess glue so I wouldn't have to sand so much once I did remove those clamps. But again, pretty foolproof stuff. Just clamp it, dry it, and then sand it once it has been fully dry, usually about 24 hours for wood glue. Then it was time to fix that missing veneer sections on the dresser. There were really big sections, so I decided just to use Bondo, knowing that I would paint those sections that I used Bondo on. Bondo is just a two-part epoxy that dries super fast and really, really, really hard. Just make sure to wear a mask and gloves when applying this stuff. And once it's dry, I just sanded it smooth with 120 grit sandpaper. It was finally time to stain the dresser and I just quickly taped off the legs that I planned to paint just so I wouldn't get any stain on them. I chose to use a gel stain to stain because that's just what I had on hand for a dark stain. Gel stains can be a little tricky as they will often leave streaks because the gel sits on the surface as opposed to being absorbed by the wood. So you really have to wipe it off in long, even sections. So to avoid getting streaks with gel stain, I like to thin the gel stain a bit by adding mineral spirits and that makes it easier to wipe off evenly in my opinion. No particular ratio here. I just added in about 10% mineral spirits to the gel stain I was planning to use. To use a gel stain, I just used a brush and brush it on almost like a paint again because a gel stain just sits on the surface. So I do it in sections so it makes it easy to wipe off. So I did this side piece first, brushed it on, then used a lint free cloth and wiped off in really long sections. You can tell that there's a lot on there. So you have to do a lot of different passes here and you have to keep wiping until you get those nice even streaks and a lot of times you go through a few different rags just because your other rag gets filled with the gel stain. So keep going until there's no gel stain left.
Then I grabbed some leftover paint I had from a previous project. This is called Black Bean by Bear, and I painted the sections where I used Bondo, and I ended up painting those legs too. It was more of a design choice though. And just did a couple of different coats here, and it was actually a really quick process, but I loved this dark green with this dark stain color. And it was finally time to seal the dresser for protection. My go-to top coat is Minwax's water-based poly in a satin finish. I use a filter so no chunks get in the sprayer that I plan to use to apply the top coat. And this specific sprayer is my favorite beginner-friendly sprayer. It's actually the only paint sprayer I use on furniture. It makes it so easy. It goes on with a great finish and it cleans up really easily too. But you can also apply this top coat using a brush, which I've done many, many times too. And finally, I always choose to add some drawer liners to my drawers because it protects those drawer bottoms, but it also gives a fun surprise whenever you open the drawer. Not a necessity, but I love the look it gives, so I do it on every one of my pieces. It also helps my piece to stand out when I'm selling this piece of furniture, particularly on Facebook Marketplace. It just shows a little better. And I live and breathe by this slice precision tool. It helps me get the smoothest lines and makes lining drawers so easy. Highly recommend this tool if you are lining drawers. And here is the finished look. I am seriously obsessed with how this dresser looks now. The dark stain paired with this dark green paint and the drawer liners just makes this dresser one of a kind and completely restored to a beauty once again. A quick reminder of what it actually looked like before to what it is now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe and like button to see more. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you for watching Studio Dash.